After we get an idea of object detection and its applications, let's dive into the details of bounding box and build an object detection model. One of the fundamental components is the bounding box. So bounding box are the main outcomes of the object detection model. It is a rectangle frame that fully encompasses an object in an image. So a bounding box contains two pairs of axis components, one for the upper left corner's coordinates and the other for the lower right corner coordinates. The ultimate goal for object detection task is to enable the model predict the bounding box as close to the ground truth as possible. Hence, we have both the ground truth label and the predictions in the bounding box format. But then, how do we measure how precisely the coordinates of the predicted bounding box are? So that brings us to the major matrix of the bounding box, which is also called the intersection over unit or IOU. As we can see in the blue plot, the calculation of IOU is straightforward. First, we calculate the size of the intersect area between the ground truth and the prediction bounding box. Then we calculate the size of the union's region. And IOU equals to the area of the overlap divided by the area of union. So IOU is a number between 0 and 1 that measures how close the two bounding boxes are. So if the IOU is closer to 0, then the bounding box prediction might be bad. Well, if the IOU is closer to 1, then the bounding box prediction is great. However, bounding box has some issues. First, on a given image, we might have objects in different aspect ratios, such as the cars and the plot of different sides and shape. And second, we may find there is one object hidden behind another one, which we call this problem the occlusion. And to tackle these problems, researchers invented the anchor box. So what is the anchor box? Let's take a look at the example here. For a given object, rather than only predict one box, we can predict multiple objects with different sizes and different aspect ratios. Well, these boxes are centering on the same pixel. We call these boxes as anchor boxes. In this way, we are able to capture objects with different aspect ratios and different sizes.